The TI Inspire does a great job tackling goodness of fit questions like this one. So say that we want to know if our customers show a preference for different flavors or if those flavors are equally distributed. We went and collected some data and we came up with this. Now this is our observed data and we want to start by entering this into the calculator. In the TI Inspire, I want to navigate down and choose that lists or spreadsheet icon and then hit enter. This was our observed data and I need to give it a name. Let's go ahead and arrow up up to the name. I'm going to call this just OBS for observed and then arrowing back down. Let's go ahead and put our data in. So I've got 48, 36, 42, 34, and 40. Continuing with our test, we want to set up our hypotheses, starting with this null hypothesis. The null hypothesis says that chi-square is equal to zero, meaning that there is no preference shown that the flavors here are equally distributed. The alternative hypothesis says that chi-square is significantly greater than zero, meaning that there is a preference that our customers are showing. The numbers in our table then are not evenly distributed. But what is chi-square? Chi-square is the sum of the observed values minus their expected value squared divided by expected. We are not going to do this calculation by hand. Instead, I want you to think of this as our relative difference or our chi-square difference. So we need to come up with those expected values. And to do that, we're gonna assume that our null hypothesis is true, which says there is no preference that the numbers are equally distributed. Let's go ahead and add these numbers up. And as we add the numbers up, we find that we've got 200 responses total. I want to divide those equally into our five flavors, and that gives me 40 per flavor. This is going to be the expected value for each of the flavors. Now that I've got these numbers, I can put them in the calculator too. I'm still in my spreadsheet document, so I'm just going to arrow over to the next column and then all the way up to that name. These are my expected values, so EXP turns out to be a function of the calculator, so I'm going to call this EXPECT, so expect. And and then arrowing down there, um, we've got 40 for each of these. And we're just about ready to run that test. I'm going to add a calculator page here. So let's go ahead and do control add page. I want to add a calculator page. So enter to choose number one. And I want to run some tests. So I'm going to go to menu. These live in my statistics menu. So I'll choose number six and stat tests, which are number seven. We're looking for that goodness of fit. There it is, chi square G O F. And then let's go ahead and hit enter to choose this. So it wants to know where my observed list is. Using my right arrow, I can choose observed OBS and then enter. Um, tabbing down to the next choice, right arrow, this is my expected value. So let's arrow down to choose that one and then enter. And then tabbing down, it wants the degrees of freedom. So I've got one more really quick calculation here to make. So the test is going to figure out the chi-square value for us, but we need to figure out degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1. Now degrees of freedom is n, which is the number of categories minus 1. That's going to be our flavors. We've got 5 of those minus 1, so our degrees of freedom is equal to 4. Let's go back to that calculator. So typing in 4 for our degrees of freedom and then enter, I can go ahead and hit enter again for OK, and it's ran the values for us. These results include our test chi-square value. That's the answer to the formula that we saw for our data. It also gives us the p-value, which is actually a really large p-value here, degrees of freedom, which we typed in, and then this comp list, you can view it by going to variables. So you'll see that that comp list is right here. Let's arrow down to it and then hit enter. It gives me those individual values that the formula then adds up. Let's use that chi-square value to finish off our goodness of fit test. Now remember that we're answering this question and we're testing at alpha equals 0 0.05. This is the area in my tail or our rejection region. To find the chi-square value, that critical chi-square that cuts off this rejection region, we can find it here in this table. Using four degrees of freedom and alpha equals 0 0.05, we find that our critical chi-square is 9.488. Putting this on our graph, we see that chi-square has to be greater than 9.488 to say that we've got a significant preference. Remember, our chi-square was only equal to three, so we're in that fail to reject region. So we're gonna fail to reject that null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to support the claim that there's a preference between the flavors. Subscribe for more TI tools just like this one. I've got another hypothesis test for you here.